We can no longer prevaricate, so says Sir David Attenborough, Attenborough, moment of climate change crisis has come, the Herald, January 17. As Australia burns, ice sheets and glaciers melt, sea levels rise and gales of increasing frequency and severity sweep our country, I suggest that we reflect on the proposition of Pope Francis, Laudato Si, that the climate crisis requires radical changes to our global economy and governance. He proposes the development of a new economy, more attentive to ethical principles thus taking action to avoid perpetrating a brutal act of injustice towards the poor and future generations. I quote him in the belief that the time has come when, in the absence of change, the consequences of hypercapitalism's excesses, especially its promotion of inequality, will become increasingly unacceptable to the many even in the developed world who long for a more just world. While we citizens can delay no longer in changing our lifestyles to combat injustice as well as climate change what is needed even more urgently is a recognition of the need to reinvent capitalism. However, I believe there to be hope with Sir Keir Starmer, leadership contender for the Labour Party, calling for economic, social and climate justice, believing that the free market economy has failed to promote any of these. I read in his words a determination to prove wrong Margaret Thatcher's assertion that there is no alternative to the current neoliberal model which has shaped global politics since the 1980s, relentlessly increasing worldwide misery. John Milne, Uddingston. If I may be allowed to introduce some interesting elements into the climate change debate, I live at a place whose name in Gaelic means the place where the boats were drawn up. I am now half a mile from the shore and several meters above the water. If I take a drive to toward I can see to my right where the beach used to be, many meters above the shore today to my left. The Holy Loch and the nearby Loch Eck used to be the same stretch of water, which is why Loch Eck, and Loch Lomond for the same reason, have exclusively a fish called Powan. This is a herring which adapted to fresh water as sea levels dropped and Loch Eck was separated from the salt sea. At the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314 a big concern with both sets of troops was malaria as mosquitoes were plentiful in a much warmer Scotland. There is a vast amount of evidence easily accessed that climate change has been a continuous factor of the world's weather for hundreds of thousands of years. This is not to suggest that I think we should continue pouring out dangerous poisonous emissions or that we should continue to destroy our natural environment. It is to suggest that our climate, climate change and the global warming we are presently experiencing is a largely a result of relationship. For more on this story, visit the news article link.